person as a young person being unique is so special it's better to be unique than follow a crowd um, and follow what people do or what people wear and how people act and what they say Hi everybody, my name is Nicole and I'm actually here today at Cafe Grande in Dudley Town Centre where we hold our reborn youth led service at the end of every month and you guys are more than welcome to come and join us. Um, today I'm actually going to just share with you about my story, um, how I've been brought up as a Christian and of course what's happening now in my life so stay blessed. So thankfully, and which I really thank God for, I was brought up and raised in a Christian family. And my granddad and grandma always really pushed me to go to church, be encouraged. And of course my dad, who is a pastor as well, has always brought me up in the Christian ways with great values and morals. And I remember being a young girl um, attending Asian Christian Fellowship with my granddad um, and actually being a part of our Christmas, Christmas dramas, Easter dramas and that really actually helped and supported my Christian walk with Christ, understanding the stories a bit more as a child. And as I grew up, um, still a young girl, maybe the age of seven, eight, um, I remember being involved in a lot of music. Dad would always bring out the drums and we would have guitars and like headsets. And he always used to encourage us to pray um, through music and really developed my vocal. I class him as my vocal trainer, um, which I absolutely loved. And music was a big thing for me and that's actually what brought me closer to Christ. Um, and continuing on with my journey as well. I started to sing within children's choirs, which really supported me in my school. I used to go to St. Peter's, which is in Compton, and in Wolverhampton, um, and that really supported me with my vocal as well, which I'm so grateful for the opportunity for. And moving on to my teen years, and this really, for me, really impacted my life. Um, hitting the age of 12, I actually entered our youth group. And of course, moving from Sunday school to a youth group was a really big thing for me, a big transition, the same way you do from year six to year seven. Um, and I remember going into youth group and you seeing all these older teens and thinking, oh, I really want to be like you, the way you are, the way you dress, um, the way you're talking, the having a youth Bible. I really wanted to fit in and that for me was a big thing at the age of 12. Um, at the age of 13 to 14, I actually attended a Christian camp called Soul Survivor and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with everything and um, the whole camping feel was amazing as well, meeting new people and um, the worship and again that started slowly really fixing my life with Christ and I started to understand a lot more but my confidence wasn't as big as it is now. I was quite quiet, quite shy, I was shy to to pray in front of people, to even sing sometimes in front of people. And um, being in Soul Survivor, one evening, um, the preacher had said, right, we're gonna call on the Holy Spirit. And my heart just literally started beating so fast. I was like, okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. People there praying with their hands lifted up. And I didn't exactly know. Um, but I remember closing my eyes and really saying, Lord, please come into my life and take full control. Um, and I remember sitting down on my knees and the song that was um, sang was by Hillsong, How He Loves Us. Um, and it really, really, I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with that song and till this day I still sing it every day. Um, and I remember the moment of sitting down on my knees and really expressing my love for Christ and I really felt that amazing love and that everlasting grace that he offered um, and from there I knew God you have so much in store for me 
Um, and again, after Soul Survivor, I still had that vibe of I really want to get out into the community as being a young girl. Um, in school, it was hard. As being a young Asian girl, a lot of Asian people always used to question, you're an Indian? And I would say, yes, I'm an Indian, but you're a Christian. They'd be like, yes, I'm a Christian. And they always used to think I'd either be a Sikh or a Hindu or a Muslim. I'd be like, no, I'm a Christian. And it took me a while to actually really portray that I am a young Indian Christian girl. Um, and that sometimes did. People did put me down. I wouldn't call it bullying, but they would question, but you're Indian, how can you be Christian? As being a Christian, it was always associated with white people. Um, and I remember being in school, that did happen for a couple of years, but slowly, slowly, with the help of young people in my church, it really supported me with the help of Dad, really showing me that you are different, you are unique, you are a jewel, you know, we are royal priesthoods of Christ, and that I had to really remember that, and that was the big thing for me that stopped me a lot from bringing me closer to Christ was what people would say and um, as I've got on my top today it says original it's all about being original and as a young person being unique is so special it's better to be unique than follow a crowd um, and follow what people do or what people wear and how people act and what they say um, and again it took me a while to really develop from that and not look at them things and after school years, um, after year 11, after finishing GCSEs, which my whole experience was absolutely amazing, I attended college, I attended Warsaw College, um, and I studied early years childcare there. I absolutely loved every moment from it, and I knew that, yes, I'm going to be working with children. And I really knew from working with children, this is how I'm really going to build my career and build my future um, and within church as well I was building my experience we started our Sunday school and um, we started Divine Community Church in Dudley um, about seven years ago and it will be our eighth anniversary in November and starting the Sunday school building my experiences and this really everything was coming in place and um, it all was helping me support my relationship with Christ and that's what I really wanted I wanted to build my relationship with Christ more um, and after actually singing at some events um, within the black churches, which I absolutely loved, I fell in love with the music, I fell in love with everything, um, again building my confidence through everything as well, um, from that I understood more what God was calling me to do, from really worshipping Christ to being involved in Sunday school um, and it really supported me with my walk with Christ. And I remember the Bible verse that actually says all things are possible um, with God and keeping God first and the centre in your life. And as a young person we are so distracted with things that go on around us. People are in relationships, people are um, studying in higher universities or people are having jobs. You know as a young person it everything around you is so worldly um, but keeping God in the center of everything that we do if you keep God first everything else falls into place um, and one thing that I would say to young people who are actually watching this is today is keep God first honestly it's the best thing that I've ever done um, and it took me a while to keep him first because I did want to be I wanted to be a teacher I wanted to do all these big things I wanted to sing even more but you know what God had to put me back a little bit and say Nicole I've got bigger and better things for you keep me first and it took me a while for myself to understand that and my dad would always remind me as well keep him first he's got amazing plans but I always wanted to know what was happening next I would always pray but I'd always expect an answer straight away and being a young girl it, I did feel like that um, but slowly, slowly, I started to realise, and reading the Word is so important. You know, Bible stands for best instructions before leaving earth, and reading this has made me a stronger person, has brought me closer to God and my relationship with Christ. I'd be nothing without Him and without His love. Um, so yeah, keep Him first in your lives, guys. It's the best thing that you can do. And entering my ministry has been the best thing that I've ever done in my life. It really did bring me closer to Christ. 
um, and of course as I started my ministry I started with singing and I would say with to any young person if you have any gifts out there whether it's dance drama singing you really can use that in the church and it's such an amazing thing to do and I think once you actually step out your box and actually go for it that is when really you'll really feel the love of Christ and within my ministry I was involved um, in a lot of children's works, so planning community events, really going out there into the community, expressing and showing people the love of Jesus and how amazing he actually is. And so um, leading on to that, we're actually going to start some of our um, youth-led service right now as well, so feel free to carry on watching. I hope you're blessed by what you see and what you hear as well. Thank you. I think Nicole is a, is a, a very um, passionate young lady who wants to make a difference for God. Um, I think she's got a lot of energy, um, a great gift of ministering. She's a great leader, um, but also a great singer, a bit like a dad actually. Not better than a dad, I promise you. Um, I've taught her everything, but she's not, she's not better than me. Okay, um, but um, she has a heart to serve in the church, in the community, amongst her brothers and sisters and her friends. And also she's not ashamed of uh, sharing the gospel. But Nicole is also a funny character as well. Uh, loves her fashion, uh, loves her hairstyle, um, loves to go out. Um, but to go out and enjoy life in Christ amongst her friends. So she's not like a drug dealer or go clubbing and smoking, mashed out of her head. No, not like that. But she loves God and I thank God that she's my daughter, but also a strength and a pillar with other young people and women in the church. I, I would say Nicole is a, a pillar of strength um, in our family, like my son, but Nicole is a pillar of strength um, in our family. Um, and when I'm lazy, she, she reminds me um, to wake up or to grow up or to do stuff for God or to do more, you know. Hi, I, I'm James and I'm Nicole's brother. And a few things that I would uh, describe my sister as is she's a good leader and she takes the lead role in the worship team. And I'd say that she has good communication because she's always in control of the youth WhatsApp group and also the worship band's WhatsApp group. And I'd say that she's always organised as we have this uh, summer events coming up that she's organised a majority of the events and she's given everyone set dates to put in their calendar. And I'd say that she is very loving as well and very gentle. She always is considerate of other people and she always puts other people before herself and which is one of the main things that we should do. We should love 
everyone as we love ourselves. So I'm Luke, I'm the, the drummer for the Reborn Youth Band. Uh, I met this band a long time ago. Um, we've had some great times. Um, Raj has led me through Christ and it's been an unbelievable journey. Um, they're an amazing bunch of guys. bishops and uh, gave me that nickname uh, called the Rev so they don't call me Rev Raj they just call me the Rev so it's a, it's, a, it's a name that's carried on for quite a while now but we give God thanks amen, amen. young people one of the things that I've come to tell you today is that it is a season of change a season where you guys have to make a difference I love young people and I believe that this church this church will continue to reach out to young people. In Dudley, there are young people that are dying. In Dudley, there are young people that are taking drugs. In Dudley, we have so many single parents. We have so many young people that are lost and hurting. 
And as a church, our role as young people that love Jesus is to share the love of Jesus to them. My dad, my dad is like my superhero. He is always there for me. Ever since I've been a little girl, I've always counted my dad as a role model. He's my best friend. Not, even, not only my best friend, he's my main man. <laughs> um, something funny about my dad, to be fair, he does enjoy his chocolate. And even though he says he's hungry, yes. Yes, he doesn't have a big meal, but he will have chocolate instead. So if ever you meet my dad and he's having a chocolate bar, please tell him off and say, have you had a big meal? <laughs> but other than that, I love my dad to bits. Some of the core elements as a Christian, as young people, is to grasp hold of the good influences. Read your word, read the Bible, pray as a family. Ask God for forgiveness. Ask God for strength. Ask God for wisdom. Hey guys, thank you so much for staying and continuing to watch and I pray that you've been blessed by what you've seen, what you've heard and I really pray that God will continue to work through you and you have so much to offer for God. I know that definitely for who's watching. Um, just um, a reminder of sometimes we put ourselves in this old, boring, cardboard box and there's times where we forget to decorate that and make it look all beautiful with bright colours and make it look original and unique and don't forget God has so much in store for you and it's time to step out of that boring box and actually get out into your community get out with your young people and express the love of Jesus Christ stay blessed stay tuned and this was my story bye Guys, I totally forgot, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. This is your time and your season. Keep on watching. Stay blessed. Bye.